What is up, Need for Speed Racers? It is I, your wheel man, Alex Corna. And we're here today with the Porsche Cayman GT4 in A Class for Rumble, specifically the Boom Docks. A really fun, very technical track that's got some tight lines that is really one of my more favorite tracks. I'm loving these rumble playlists like they're technical they're fun they're not super high speed they require more finesse to get through the corners and overall it's a great time this car is a lot of fun in those playlists it is borderline cheese but i've already brought it to you once before so all i had to do was make a couple of tweaks put it in the off-road configuration and we're right here so i would rather bring it to you as kind of a repeat of what i've done as opposed to have someone else bring it to you as their version of an off-road build when in reality i was kind of first on the scene with it more builds to come more rumble to go with there's only one off-road playlist in the a-class so really there's not a lot of a reason for me to continue just bringing cars out but if you guys want them i'll bring them out i've got a few more for sure that being said this is a banger i'm going to show you the horsepower and the torque figures first because a lot of people want to see that and then we'll go into the build so for the Porsche came in GT4, horsepower 644, max torque 789. This thing is nuts. It is a lot of fun to drive. The engine that you run in this build is all the way to the left, the basic iron 4.3 liter V8. 162 when we start, and we go much higher than that. For the parts, elite platinum induction. Sport bronze ECU. Sport bronze fuel system, elite platinum exhaust. For some reason, that unequipped. Let's put that back on there. Elite platinum screw supercharger. You can do it with the roots. I prefer the screw. Because of the way this car is built, and like I said, it's borderline cheese, kind of is cheese. You can do 130 is the hard cap for the top speed. As soon as you exceed that, it puts it into A plus class. So that's where we're at on this. We've gimped it with top speed. Elite Platinum Nitrous. Elite Platinum Off Road Suspension. Elite Platinum Brakes. Elite Platinum Off Road Tires. Elite Platinum Clutch. You automatic players, you're in here right there, and we got you. <laughs> Sport bronze five speed transmission, you guys. Elite platinum differential gives the car 100% full Beyonce grip. Nitrous drift, nitrous grip are the auxiliaries I'm running here. Guys, I'm thinking that maybe nitrous jump might be something we work in there because there's a lot of jumps on the boom docks. It's a pretty fun track. So, that being said, if you're not micro drifting, you might swap the drift out for the jump and you get yourself a little more nitrous going. So keep that in mind, you guys. For the handling, slide your slider all the way to the left, full Beyonce, to the left, to the left, 100% grip. Let's go. Steering sensitivity, two clicks high. That's how I do it, you guys. Downforce, all the way high. That's what I liked. You can go all the way low. It doesn't matter. You can do anything you want with the downforce slider, you guys. I thought all the way high got me down off the jumps a little faster didn't jump quite as far and one of the jumps on boom docks there's two they're kind of separated back behind each other if you go to the one on the right you will end up shooting much further than you want and you'll slide off the track so having the downforce a little higher made the jump distance a little lower for the car and you really want to default to the left jump that way your car has enough time to settle and make that corner so just keep that in mind you guys and i will go through that with you on the gameplay footage right after the build here i do run a 209 on that track nothing crazy not record setting i could probably shave four or five seconds off that pretty easy um, I make a couple of mistakes and I show those to you in the gameplay footage, but at the end of the day I want you guys to see how the car runs. It's not a perfect run. Lots of time can be gained there, but it's not bad It's good enough to show you guys the lines and that's what we're about, right? Traction control off drift entry brake tap That's gonna give you the Porsche Cayman GT4 2015 a 192 because we can't take it any higher than that even with all the parts on it because it goes out of the class it's pretty good. 644 on that horsepower is nutty, and the torque is just 789. 
Four mile doesn't matter, zero to 60 doesn't matter. And honestly, the top speed doesn't matter. You only get going maybe 115, 120 on boom docks, which is really the only reason this car exists in this build configuration. So like, honestly, don't worry. I tried it with road suspension, because there's a couple of corners where you are on the road and you would want that grip. But there are, are a couple of corners also where you're up in the dirt. So really, you can kind of go either way. If you've already got this car built for the road version, you can go back and look for it. Um, you might try both because we're kind of working with off-road and I'm bringing you guys that build. This fits that theme, so that's why we've done it this way. Stay tuned for the gameplay footage. Thank you guys so much for coming and joining me and hanging out. I appreciate you. Please like the button. Click the button. Likey like. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. All right, the Boondocks Rumble. I love these Rumble races. They're so dope. I'm pre-shifting right now, going to launch the car in fourth gear. Uh, if you're running automatic, you guys have that elite clutch, so just get a perfect start and go for it, you guys. This track is very technical, so make sure you're taking your corners tight, brake early, and just slide into stuff. Get a good launch, get around these guys. My buddy Prio's over there in that skyline, all-wheel drive. Very good car, but to get it built the way he did, he only has 5% grip. So with these dirt corners, you can cut real tight right there, and it keeps you out of trouble because a lot of people are going to slide in there at speed. Once again, you'll see me keeping it real tight, keeping a good line, and then using my boost on exit to get back up to speed. This is where these jumps start to play. I'm thinking that maybe Nitrous Jump might be good. You'll see I'm slowing down a lot and just keeping it really, really tight. People are going to go wide there and you'll get hit. I default to the left ramp because the car settles and then you can turn in. I'm using handbrake on entry to these corners, getting tight and just making a good line out. A little jump there. Use the boost. little jump there getting a nice turn getting a nice turn a little bit of a micro drift there turning in and then as soon as we make this left we're going to use the boost right there to get out nice and tight stay left stay right go through there now avoid the jump here just clip the checkpoint and go around that's much faster than getting air you guys so that's the line you want to take you'll see that i'm getting super tight in these corners and using lots of brakes that's what you want to do there i do a tron turn with the nitrous I don't know that that was actually faster than if I would have just got tight and saved it, but either way, it's not a perfect run. We're just uh, showing you different lines here. So using all of my resources, all of my NOS, all of my yellow boost to get up to speed. Same kind of deal going through here, using our yellow boost on exit, accelerating pretty good. I knew that I wouldn't be able to carry that second bar, so I just used it immediately. And then I'm e-braking and slowing down to get tight. Those docks and that wood right there on the containers, um, it's kind of loose, it'll upset the car. It's hard to corner on that, so be aware of that, you guys. I use my boost to get up to speed, get a bobble there. I'm losing a couple of seconds just by going off track there. And so, cutting it nice and tight, getting a nice grip turn there, tapping the inside, losing all of my momentum. But you'll see that the lines are consistent. You want to keep it tight. You want to keep it controlled. And overall, that's a, not a bad run. It's not great. There's a lot of time we can save, but... It uh, gives you an idea what this car will do and how to drive it, you guys. Those are the lines I think are good. Drive it like a grip track. Stay tight. 209.24. Not bad. Obviously, we're walking everybody else in the playlist. So, um, if you've got this car and you've got a good driver mod, you'll have no problems. I really do believe this is probably one of the best cars that is going to be brought to you in A-Class. That's why I bring it to you first. And then we'll scale back from there. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye.